Hi everyone, Woohoo here from the Coin Dictionary, and today I've got for you this two and a half escudos coin from Portugal from 1943. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. Uh, this is the obverse, which shows the issuing entity, República Portuguesa, the Republic of Portugal, uh, the year of mintage down below, 1943, and a ship sailing to the left. Uh, this side was engraved by Joao da Silva and Arnaldo Fragoso, whose names can be seen uh, down below, down here. Uh, if we turn this over to the other side, we see a Portuguese shield above the denomination two escudos and 50 centavos. This is not a dollar sign. It's called the cifrao, uh, which acted as a decimal point of sorts for the Portuguese escudo. Uh, these coins were 65% silver. They were produced between 1932 and 1951 uh, in the Lisbon Mint in Portugal. They are 3.5 grams in weight, 20.5 millimeters in diameter, 1.4 millimeters thick with a reeded edge, as you can see right there. 1943 has a mintage of 8,302,000 for circulation, making it one of the more common coins uh, of this particular date run that were produced for circulation. Uh, but it should be noted that these coins were demonetized in 1969 uh, when denominations such as the half, escu uh, half escudo and this two and a half escudos denomination began to disappear. Uh, at the time of change over to the Euro, however, in 2002, uh, the official exchange rate was 200 escudos roughly uh, to the Euro so this coin was worth, at time of the changeover, about a cent and a half in exchange value. Of course, it was, it's worth a lot more nowadays. The silver value alone in this coin, at least as of time of recording, is $1.73. Uh, in this condition, that's probably what it's worth, uh, given that this coin has been heavily circulated and heavily tarnished. But in uncirculated grades, of course, it can go for, well, considerably more than that. Not a whole lot more, given how common it is, mind you. Um, but silver coins from this particular period typically go for about two, three, maybe even four dollars, depending on condition. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin, and I'll see you next time right here on the Coin Dictionary when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own the Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.